Welcome back home. Oh, did my husband Jeff not hear what I said? Welcome home. Dinner's ready. <sighs> no matter how much I talk to Jeff, he won't respond back to me. Jeff looks a little moody as he sits down to the dinner table while watching the TV. I really don't know what to do, so I just began to put the dinner plates in front of Jeff. My name is Jade. I am 32 years old. I am currently a sales associate in a cosmetics department. I work in a store of my favorite cosmetics brand, and I am very happy about that. And I feel really happy every day that I get to work in an environment like that. I have a husband named Jeff, and we have now been married for three years. But we have been dating for five years and moved in together right after we started dating. So we have been living together for eight years now. My husband has always been very kind and caring to me, and he was a good boyfriend and has been a good husband since we got married. I am the one who is good at house chores, but Jeff helps me with what he can and even cooks for me when I am busy with work. I thought to myself that I had found a really kind, good man until recently. My husband and I met at the same company. I joined the company later on and my husband had been working at the company already as he was two years older than me. At the time, my husband was my mentor and I felt like he was a mentor whom I admired for his work ethics and his skills. Little by little, I began to learn my job and I was trusted by my bosses to do various tasks. Then, I was assigned to the same team as my husband in a new project at the company and we became even closer. Around that time, my husband and I often went out for drinks and talked a lot about work. We became closer and closer to each other. So we began to date. My husband and I shared a common interest in music and our favorite bands were quite similar. Because of this, we also went on dates together going to live concerts and festivals. Since we worked at the same place, we understood each other's work and how busy we were. And depending on the time, we were able to support each other and understand how we felt and how we thought on some things. For a while, we were like that, enjoying our time together and being called the perfect couple at work. But then I began to think about what kind of work I really wanted to do. Of course, I enjoyed my job at that time, and I was blessed with good people at work. But I wanted to be more involved in something I really liked. This desire grew stronger, and I made the decision to quit the company and talk to Jeff about it. He supported my dream and suggested saying, It's a new beginning for you, Jade, so why don't you leave the company because we're getting married? And after that, he proposed and said, Let's get married. I was surprised, but I thought it was very like Jeff and accepted his proposal. I left the company and entered the cosmetics industry, which I had always been interested in. My job started as a sales clerk in a cosmetics department, but I was really happy. I could be involved with my favorite cosmetic brand every day, and more importantly, I could learn more by actually using various products. Even as a salesperson, there's a lot to learn, and the job is very rewarding. And since I was always in a happy mood, I was excitedly telling my husband, We had this customer today, or my senior gave me a compliment, and so on. My husband would smile and say, I see. 
or that's good for you. And I know I've already said this, but I was really happy. Then one day, after working as a salesperson for about three years, I was suddenly called in by my manager. I remember going to the head office extremely nervous because I had no idea why I was called in for. Did I do something wrong or did I do something to cause unbelievable damage to the company? I went over to my manager with a scared look on my face and seeing me, he said, What are you scared of? and laughed. Um, well, why did you call me in for? I want you to join our product planning and development department at the head office. What? I couldn't close my mouth as I was surprised to this unexpected turn of events. I'm going to be a part of the head office? My manager then said, I heard about you from the store manager. He told me that you'd be able to make great use of your abilities in a department that would form the core of the company. I felt like I was in heaven. It was a dream come true to be promoted in a job I loved. I immediately reported this to my husband when I got home. Hearing this, Jeff had praised me, saying, Wow, that's great. I was going to be working at the head office, and my salary would be much higher than when I was a sales associate. I couldn't help but be very pleased about what was happening. And although the work in the new department was difficult because there was so much to learn, it was still very rewarding. It really moved me to see the actual production of the cosmetics up close at the factory for the first time. And since there was a lot of work to be done at the head office, I had to do overtime every day. I usually return home around 9 p.m. I'm so sorry. I got home late again. I bought some side dishes from the store, so I'll just make something simple. Um, Jade, haven't you been neglecting your house chores lately? Sorry? If I have to eat late like this every night, my stomach can't really handle that. I'm s sorry. It was the first time that my husband had ever said such a thing to me, so I had apologized to him without really thinking deeply about it. It was true that, until now, I had always arrived home earlier than my husband, and he often came home when I was still cooking dinner for him. And the dinner would be ready just when my husband changed his clothes and ready to relax. But circumstances change, and now, I want to put work first. I felt that he should have been a little more understanding, but he had supported me when I decided to change jobs. But after that, my husband's attitude toward me gradually became more and more harsh. This dish again? What? But you told me that you like it, Jeff. You should think about cooking different types of dishes, you know. If it's like this, I'd rather go to McDonald's. What? But I made it just for you. And lately, you're not cleaning around really well. It seems like you changed, huh? All you do is work and now you don't really care about what's going on in the house. No, that's not true. I'm trying to do my best both at work and at home. Then, do better with your house chores. No way. Then, you're the one who should help with the house chores more, Jeff. You've been coming home earlier than me lately anyways. Then, my husband widened his eyes and became angry. Huh? You better not get carried away. What? Do you think like you're a big shot or something? You're being arrogant, you know. Jeff? Wow, you really pissed me off. Who the hell do you think you are? Excuse me? I had never seen my husband lose his temper like this before, so I was really confused and could only apologize and say, 
I'm so sorry. That was the end of our conversation that day, and we went to bed separately. My husband slept on the couch. As I was alone in the bedroom, I reflected on the fact that I had indeed been working so much and neglecting my husband and the house chores. The next morning, I made lunch for my husband and myself for the first time in a long time. My husband looked surprised when he saw the lunch and he said, Thanks, and took his lunch to work. I was a little relieved at this point, thinking that we had made up, although still a little awkward. And since work was not that busy that day, I left the office without doing any overtime. I went to the supermarket to buy ingredients to cook something really nice for the first time in a while. I cooked one dish after another, hoping to surprise my husband. Then, my husband came home just in time. Oh, welcome back home! Oh, did my husband Jeff not hear what I said? Welcome home! Dinner's ready! No matter how much I talk to Jeff, he won't respond back to me. Jeff looks a little moody as he sits down to the dinner table while watching the TV. I really didn't know what to do, so I just began to put the dinner to plates in front of Jeff. But my husband just eats his food silently without saying anything. He doesn't even look at me and he just keeps on watching the TV. Today I had some time to cook, so I tried my best. What do you think? I asked Jeff that, but he didn't say anything. Well, I guess he's just ignoring me. And I guess that he didn't forgive me at all for yesterday, huh? Still, what Jeff is doing is a bit too much. Feeling sad, I began to eat the food I cooked while facing Jeff, who was looking the other way. It's so delicious. I was so sad that Jeff didn't respond to anything. My husband kept ignoring me and I didn't know what to do, so all I could do was also be silent. After that, my husband continued to ignore me, and to my surprise, he ignored me for a whole week. Is this normal for Jeff to ignore me this much, no matter how much my comments annoyed him? I was disappointed that my husband was such a small man, and I was getting used to being ignored. If he doesn't say anything, then I'm free to do as I please. I started working overtime more than usual. And through this process, I started going out for drinks with other people at work. I stopped cooking dinner or making lunch for my husband. Then one day, for the first time in a long time, I was invited out for a drink by a good friend, Steve, who used to work with me. My old workplace was, yes, my husband's workplace. Steve still works at the same department as my husband. I thought it was a good opportunity and asked him how Jeff was doing recently at work. Then, Steve would awkwardly say, Oh, he's frustrated because he couldn't get promoted again. If I remember correctly, a month ago was that time of the year when you get promoted or not in that company. My husband didn't say anything about it and I had forgotten at all about it because I had been assigned to work at the head office at that time in the first place. I then began to tell Steve about my current situation at home. Steve then said, That's tough. And sympathized with me and said, Oh, by the way. And began to talk as if he remembered something. After you quit the company, I remember Jeff saying, After all, I'll be the man of the family finances, so... Jade is fine doing what she likes as a hobby. What? I was surprised to hear that. At first glance, this might be taken as the statement of a man who seems dependable, but it's not. It was just a comment made by an extremely arrogant man. In other words, my husband had always looked down on me and didn't care what I did because I was always looked down by him. 
But now that I have been promoted and was earning a little more than what Jeff earned currently, he became jealous and started acting that way. My feelings for my husband suddenly disappeared just like that. I had no idea Jeff was such a small man. I no longer cared about my marriage to my husband and immediately started looking for a place to live in. My husband seemed to have assumed that I would snap out of it and he was beginning to grow impatient with my attitude and ignoring him back. I think I was really irritated seeing my husband after knowing what I had found out from Steve. Then one day my husband said, uh, y you know, and began speaking to me. But I was just about to call the real estate agent at that time, so I coldly replied, I'm busy so shut up. My husband said, what, in a small voice, and looked frightened. I ignored him and called the real estate agent. Yes, I really like that room. Yes, please, I'll go ahead with the contract. When I hung up the phone, my husband asked with a worried look on his face, saying, What room are you talking about? I had no choice but to talk to him. I'm going to leave this house. Excuse me? I'm sick and tired of being controlled around by your petty pride. So, let's just get a divorce. Saying this, I held out the divorce papers at my husband. What? Why divorce? Don't you even know what you did? It's because you were jealous of my career and acted really immature by continuing to ignore me. It's too late for you to talk to me now. I don't want to be with a small, arrogant person like you anymore. Now, sign the divorce papers. Otherwise, I'll hire a lawyer. Seeing me very angry like this, Jeff began to sign the divorce papers as he trembled. And like that, our divorce was finalized. After the divorce, my ex-husband became even more moody and began to pick on the colleagues who were much younger than him more harshly, which was regarded as power harassment within the company. And he was sent to a local branch as a demotion. On the other hand, now that I am free from the stress of my ex-husband, I am able to take on my work with a more refreshed mind, and I feel very happy every day. Love is good for a while, so now I want to devote myself more and more to my work and continue to learn about the cosmetics. Right now, my dream is to sell cosmetics, which I produced by myself at this company. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.